Welcome to The Chic Show. Today is all about DIY decor for fall. Project number one is a mushroom planter. I found this little creamer for 50 cents at a thrift store, and this is probably one of the only mushroom things that I've seen that I actually liked, but I did want to change the look a bit. So I painted over the colored mushrooms and leaves and grass with a, a truffle Waverly chalk paint. Once that was dry, I painted over the entire creamer with Waverly chalk paint and plaster. To bring back all of those details in the creamer, I used Waverly antique wax and I first tried it using it watered down and that wasn't quite dark enough. So I just used the straight wax, dabbed it on and then wiped it off. And you can see all of those details coming back. This is such a trendy, easy DIY decor idea for fall. I added some florals and that was it for this project. Project number two is a faux coffee and mug topper. I used a combination of waxes that I already had on hand just to kind of give me the color I was looking for. I melted them down in a pan of water and poured them into a clear thrifted mug. Then I'm using the top to one of Dollar Tree's spackle containers. I did add some foam core on the bottom of it so that it wouldn't slide around. Now I'm adding half of a ping pong ball to the top of the container lid so that we don't have to use quite so much spackle. I'm mixing in spackle and some Mod Podge and a little bit of antique white paint and then I'm putting it into a piping bag. I'm sure you've seen this done a thousand times on YouTube, but I am just going to pipe that onto this lid, let it dry, and then we'll add some embellishments. I did go around the side here, which actually made it a little bit larger than the mug I'm using, but I needed to cover up the side of that uh, container lid. Now I mixed together some caramel colored paint with some Mod Podge and I'm simply pouring that onto the top of the spackle and then I'm going to sprinkle on some corn cobs that are all ground up and that makes for our nuts. Once that's done I will add half of a straw. I think I'll be able to use this mug topper on some of my other mugs that are a little bit larger and it will fit better. Project number three is a mini fall wreath. I'm going to be using some of these mini pumpkins from Dollar Tree as well as this wreath from Target Dollar Spot from a couple of years ago. I'm going to clip on the pumpkins that have clips on them and the other ones I will just wire on in between each of the larger pumpkins. I wanted a variation of colors of orange, so I did take some of the brighter orange pumpkins and painted them in a lighter color orange and twisted them together with some of the white pumpkins. I did end up going back at the end though and adding some of those brighter pumpkins and I really like the way this looks. I used some thrifted ribbon as a sash for my wreath and I decided it needed a little something extra after I tied that knot. So I used my Silhouette Cameo to cut out a pumpkin and I added that to one side of the sash. I did also go back and dovetail the ends of the ribbon as well. I 
I love the combination of colors and the contrast of colors in this wreath. If you liked these DIYs today, I'm going to leave another one right here for you that you might like as well. If you enjoyed any of these DIY decor ideas for fall, please give this video a thumbs up. I certainly would appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Share the sheet. Bye now.